Hi there folks, I'm Alex from the Southern Ukulele Store and I'm back uh, once again this week to take another look at Tiki Tiki Ukuleles. So Tiki Tiki Ukuleles, for those of you that have not watched the previous video on the custom Mango models, are a Japanese uh, luthier, um, mainly up until now dealing with uh, Japanese shops and with the public direct, but uh, Rob, the owner of the Southern Ukulele Store, has kind of had his eye on them for a really long time, mentioned them to me and due to the just absolute stunning nature of the custom mango models we ordered uh, we immediately went back and ordered some of the slightly more affordable they're still high-end price but slightly more affordable than those uh, Hawaiian Koa models so today we're going to look at the Tiki Tiki HK abalone series um, with a thankfully shorter names for each individual model so behind me I have the HKS which is this really petite um, vintage Martin style Koa Soprano. To my right, your left, I have the HKC, which is this slightly bigger proportioned concert, more of a traditional concert size. And then finally, have the HKT, which is the Koa Tenor, which reminds me stylistically of some of the um, parlor guitars and early uh, guitar body shapes of the 1930s so we're going to look at all three of them but I guess the easiest way to do it is to talk about the soprano and the concert at the same time so the HKS and the HKC here as you can see different body shapes one's a soprano one's a concert but this the body shape of this is just about a centimeter in each dimension smaller than most of the other sopranos we have in stock it's much more like a vintage Martin has a very very slim neck um, much slimmer than kind of any of the Hawaiian builds, much more like a kind of Kawaii or a Sumi. Um, you have Goto planetary tuners on each model. Gold with the black button. And the Soprano and Concerts both have a very, very true to tradition uh, slender bridge. So it's, it would actually be very difficult, if not impossible, to put a bridge pickup in these ukuleles but that smaller bridge is there because it adds something to the overall sound you're having a more slender piece of wood in theory you know making connection with the top should make for a different tone and a different style of ukulele to something with a more modern um, fatter bridge the fingerboard is rosewood on both the HKS and HKC and the pin the bridge is not a pin bridge it's a slot bridge traditional slot bridge like the early Martins. The finish is, I can't, I can't confirm this, but it looks to me like a nitrocellulose lacquer. Um, for those of you wondering about the difference between uh, nitrocellulose and modern finishes, uh, the easiest way to explain it is that a modern finish is kind of like a shell. When you spray it, it hardens, it's sitting on top of the wood so when you look at a UV finished Canalea or um, you know Kaolaua finish, what you have is the wood underneath a layer of clear gloss, and that layer kind of thickens the overall body dimensions by a fraction. Whereas a nitrocellulose finish is much more um, first, firstly much more toxic. So it's applied to the finish and then it sits and soaks into the finish over a longer period of time. So what you have is a much thinner finish that leaves certainly in this case uh, open pore effects for the for the wood involved you have an abalone inlay hence the hk abalone which stands for hawaiian cola abalone finish and uh, yeah that's the hks and the hkc we'll take a close look at the hkc before we move on this one is much more kind of conventional in size it feels it feels like other concerts out there whereas as i said the soprano feels slightly smaller and Finally, the HKT also feels just ever so slightly smaller, but the spec is largely the same. The difference between this and other tenors is that this has a slightly more slender lower bout. This feels more like um, an enlarged concert, which I don't, I, I worry when I say stuff like that, it might put somebody that likes tenors off. Do not be put off. When something feels slightly more slender, it doesn't automatically sound like a concert or sound thinner. What you get with this is um, it's a, a much more undiluted, sweeter tone. So what you get is the depth and the sustain of a tenor, but you also get some of the sweetness and the 
innocence of a smaller ukulele. As the ukuleles get bigger, they become a bit more bolder, bigger, and richer. And what I like about Japanese made tenors, and that is a generalization, but Takumi, Kawaya, Sumi, Toda, Seren, all of these Japanese tenors we've had over the years have all shared just ever so slightly smaller proportions than um, than your average Hawaiian tenor. Something at the more affordable end like a Kala or, or an Ohana. The HKT has a pin bridge. It's a very, very small pin bridge. You could actually get a pickup in this one if you needed to. But yeah, there's something about the sopranos and tenors in this range that I'm really drawn to personally. I think the Japanese market mainly buys sopranos and nowadays maybe concerts as well. So what happens is the tenor builds tend to be just slightly reduced to suit the needs and the demand of the Japanese ukulele market. And what you end up with here is something like the HKT, which is gorgeous in its own right and slightly different to the norm. I'm going to give these guys a play now and see which one you guys think is the best. I'd love to know in the comments and I'll be back at the end to sign off.
There we go, folks. So we've looked at three Tiki Tiki ukuleles, the Hawaiian Koa Abalone series. Um, I do urge you to go back and have a look at the custom mango ukuleles that we featured two or three weeks back on the channel. Um, there's just something about Japanese ukulele manufacturing that's very different to the rest of the world. It's more delicate, it's more traditional. Uh, there's, there's more of a sense of, I guess, with ukulele building more of a sense of looking back at the origins of the ukuleles to draw inspiration for today whereas many of the Hawaiian companies and the mainland US builders are taking um, taking a more kind of forward-thinking approach so what's end what's ending up happening is that even in the last 10 years the styles of build have drifted further and further apart so uh, what I'm trying to say uh, as a salesman is that if you play Hawaiian koa ukuleles maybe it's time you looked at a Japanese model and uh, <laughs> if you like Japanese ukuleles maybe it's time you looked at a Hawaiian model complete your collection anyway I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments um, yeah if there's a ukulele on the uh, website that hasn't been featured yet there's come <laughs> it's getting quite a long list for me at the moment but if there's something that as a priority you really want to see then let me know in the comments you can call me in store or the team on 01202 430820 or you can email me at alex at ukulele.co.uk. Uh, I urge you as well, just I'm urging you a lot, but I'm urging you just once more, check out my own channel, which is Ukes with Alex, which is a channel where I do more videos like this, but uh, on my own time, so featuring things that are not necessarily uh, linked just to the Southern Ukulele store. Uh, I'll be back next week, folks, if not sooner. You have a great week. Stay safe, take care, and uh, yeah, see you again soon.